everybody. I'm still coughing and a little hoarse and my throat hurts a little bit, but I am up getting ready to see Kevin off for work. And I will tell you, when you have OCD packing to go on a trip, it's stressful. I think I got everything for Kevin. I probably asked him about 50 times last night. Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't started packing for myself yet as far as clothes go. I think I got all my meds packed. That's the important thing. I mean, if I have to wear the same clothes for several days, I can handle that. Wouldn't like it, but I can handle it. But I can't go out without my meds. And I'm packing. One of my most important things is my polar bear night shirt. Helps me to relax. To have my polar bear with me. Okay, so we are ready to go. Everything is all packed right there. Couple of jackets just in case. We got our pillows. Yes, my Daryl Dixon pillow is there. Got all our hunting equipment, got all our cameras. Yeah, we packed some clothes because we figure we're gonna have to change. Got my laptop, everything we could possibly think of that we're gonna need for this ghost hunt. Yay, can't wait. Boomer, you can't go. Case of the Mrs. Look. Case of the missing sandals has been solved by none other than me. You know where they were? In his shoe rack in his closet, underneath a pair of shoes. So yes, after he was done playing his drums, he took his shoes off. And like a good Kevin, like I always tell him to, he put his shoes away but he put them on top of his sandals. So that's why he couldn't find them. So whose fault is that? Not mine. Want to take Boomer? <laughs> I asked him already if he wanted to go. Finally getting her out. Finally getting her out. We're get hey, I had, I had to respond to our subscribers. They are very excited for us. I told uh, Katie, she said, I'll see you soon. I said, that's if, unless the ghosts decide to keep us. Who are you going to call? The neighbors. That's right. So we finally get on the road. And of course, Kevin hasn't had dinner. So we had to stop and get something to eat. And... Jack in the Box is always where we usually stop, and he gets the Munster Tacos with french fries. And he eats and drives at the same time. I'm not so very good at. We kind of wonder how much actually goes in him or on him. Are you excited? Ah. Yay, me too. Finally got you off the computer. Hey, I had to say stuff to our subscribers. I'm gonna miss miss them. Uh-huh. Aren't you gonna miss our subscribers? Uh-huh. I had to say goodbye. What if the ghost catch us and never let us go? Then we'll never see you then. And never be able to talk to them again. We'll have to hunt them. We're gonna haunt our, all our subscribers? Okay. So guys, if we don't return, you're gonna have to send your addresses to us so we can come and haunt you guys if the ghosts take, keep us and don't let us come home. Okay?
Okay, it's kind of bumpy, but I can't. We've got to show you this. This is the navigation system for the roads that we are driving on our way up to Lake Arrowhead. At half the time, it looks like we're driving on top of ourselves. It's just twisting and winding and, and going all over the place and huge drop-offs on the edge over here. Here's a good one coming up. If we were to go off of that edge, um, we would be ghosts ourselves. There's the road we're about to go on right there. We're at elevation 4,000 feet right now. Saddleback Inn, which is where we are going, is at 5,000 feet. And see that road right over there? That looks like it's being held up by a couple of cement uh, pillars. Yeah, that's what we're going to drive on. Do I feel safe? Um, I'd have to say... I gotta, I gotta open my eyes. <laughs> not real safe. Especially if Kevin's got his eyes closed. Nah, not safe at all. And people go flying past us, going slow. <coughs> How you doing, babe? I'm doing good. Take a look at that wrap off. Look at that. And they have turn offs so people can pull off the road and let people that know how to drive up here. You get the locals. The probably, locals. You drive up to this mountain probably at 60 miles an hour. And then there's us who's just going, ah, ah. That's not me really though. Kevin's actually doing pretty good. And I just don't want to look off the edge. <laughs> because it's pretty scary when you look off the edge because you feel like you're just clinging to the side. So this is at about 4,000, a little over 4,000 feet up the mountain. And just look at that. It's so, so beautiful. Smoggy. That's it is smog, Cal yeah. California smog. Yeah, can you see all the smog out there? But it's so beautiful up here. I would love to live up here in the mountains. Absolutely love it. Were we on that road down there, babe? Yeah, yes. We came up that road down there. And we are going up to Lake Arrowhead, which is at 5,000 feet. And Kev, why don't you sit on the wall and tell us a little bit about where we're going. And this way you... Should I trust you? <laughs> close to the edge? <laughs> hey, you bury me in the desert, I'll push you off the mountain. <laughs> okay, so we are officially at the Saddleback Inn. We've already checked in. We're told a couple of stories already. Uh, tomorrow we'll be uh, probably interviewing people. We'll get. I'm sure we're going to have plenty of people who are going to be willing to talk to us. It seems to be something they like to do here. So right now we're going to try and find our cabin. And now I'm wishing I had a smaller vehicle. <laughs> I love my truck. But I don't love my truck in the mountain. And We've apparently got, we got some girls getting in the trunk of a car over here. That looks like um, the local soccer team or whatever you want to call it. The... <laughs> <sighs> okay, so we're looking for, as you know, cabin 33. Go down these stairs, I'm assuming. And there's your friend, the bear. Yay! I got a bear right in front with a baby. I'm not too good on stairs, so it's gonna be a little interesting. I did bring sneakers though, so when we are doing our actual ghost hunting, that I will not have to be worried too much. Um, I'm kind of concerned that we might be in the wrong place because that door says 45 on it. So this one says 33. So this is us. It says 33 Raven on the door. So we come down a couple steps 
you have to go up a couple steps. And there's really nothing for me to hold on to here, so. Da, okay. Da, da, da. So there's the room. It's room 33, and it's called Raven. So, clues, clues. Here we go. Our first entry into the haunted cottage. Hey, everybody! Guess what time it is? Time for Kevin to dance. This is as good as it gets. You're listening to Excited music in your head. I don't have it in my head. Oh, so you're listening to the music in my head. Yeah, can't you hear it? Mm. It's kind of noisy. Glad he can hear it too now. At least I know I'm not the only crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you all my beautiful pine cone. It's a mutant pine cone. <laughs> I'm from the East Coast and we have pine trees back there, but we don't have pine cones like this. This is a big pine cone. It looks like a pineapple. But it's a pine cone. It's really, really a big pine cone. And it's got these really sharp little things on the edges, so you got to be really careful. It's all pokey. Yeah, they, they pokey you and really sharp. But I might make that. Be careful. You don't pull. Up. Oh, I got some sap on me now. Okay, come here. Ooh, that's not good. I don't like sap. Come on, man. I don't like being oh, dirty. Come on, freckles. Oh, come on. Oh, and oh. freckles decided to join us. Hey, Rickles. Mm. Rickles not feeling good still. Yeah, he's not feeling too good. He got slobbered all over my face just now. Anyway, first off, we had a fabulous time up at, in Lake Arrowhead. Blah, blah, blah. I can still talk. Loved Lake Arrowhead. <laughs> we had a fabulous time up at Lake Arrowhead. It was absolutely beautiful up there. The weather was fabulous. The lake was beautiful. We had lunch at one of the restaurants right at the lake, right on the lake, and just it was gorgeous. I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better weekend. It was really beautiful, and the people at the Saddleback Inn were absolutely fabulous. We thanked them very much for their hospitality. They were very great to work with. They, they were willing to let us do what we needed to do. They, you know, after the restaurant was done, they shut down, let us go in and do our thing. And, That's and great. Lots of interviews. Everybody was willing to tell us their stories and stuff like that. So you guys will all get to see that. However, we have lots of other vlogs, stuff that we're going to vlog and show you, but the actual ghost investigation will not be published probably for about a week because we have a lot of information, video and audio that we have to go through and put together a blog before we can put it up for you guys. So you will see lots of other stuff that we did on our little trip we had, well, before yeah. you get to that what? Well, they they watched it before this. Yeah, well... That's this video. This is us for that video. But the, there's, you know, there's going to be another video for that too okay, because okay. we got too, so much. All right. That's You're not going to get it all in one. And anyway, so, and then we also want to give a great big thank you, shout out to Jack Adams. Sully for <laughs> doing the shout outs for us. That was a big help. We're glad he was able to do that for us and keep our neighborhood community shout outs going while we couldn't. That's right. So, Here but we, go. I we have. <clears throat> I started last time. I thought you were going to say last night. I was going to hit you. <laughs> It is time for oh, man. our oh, neighborhood community shout outs! Did you, Did you guys record? miss me? My goodness. I missed all of you. Oh. And oh. again. 
and very big thank you for, to Jack Adams. Oh, Katie Caroline. Lucy Bluebone. Daniel Scott. Christopher Trade Show. Play a bad with username. Selena G. Love 487, also known as Brian. Tom Show. Rex25059. ZZ Epic Dude ZZ. Dana Besaw. Beauty Queen 12. Marin Brenda Smith. Daphne Sheehan. Lucy and Autumn. Samantha L. Domestic Goddess. Alien K18, also known as Kimmy. Destiny Hall. Sammy Anair. The Abyss 92882. Meet the Presleys. Charlena Higdon. Skylar, Chantel, Shaylee, and Shaden. Groundone. And Whitney Broderson. That is all our neighborhood community shout outs, but you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you all. Thank you. Thumbs up. I'm going to bed. I will see you tomorrow. I have to. I have to edit now. But I'm going to bed. She gets to go to bed. Hey, I downloaded everything. <laughs> what did I do with it? I don't know. <laughs> keep those up. Keep those up. Keep those up. Thumbs up.